Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for November 3rd. November 3rd is the 307th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 308th in leap years, with 57 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is scalawag. Scalawag can be spelled S-C-A-L-A-W-A-G, S-C-A-L-L-A-W-A-G, or S-C-A-L-L-Y-W-A-G. Scalawag is a noun that means scamp, reprobate, or disreputable fellow. This comes from a colloquialization from the 1800s, generally referring to a white Southerner in support of the Reconstruction governments after the American Civil War, often for private gain. Merriam-Webster says the etymology of this word is unknown, but the online etymology dictionary suggests it could be from a combination of Scottish scalig, which referred to a rustic, bumpkin sort of person, and wag, which meant habitual joker. There's also an early reference that gives a sense of scalawag as an undersized, ill-fed, or worthless animal. We're more likely, though, to see the term scalawag as a derogatory term for anti-Confederate native white Southerners from the time of the 1860s and 1870s. I think I'll just go with reprobate or disreputable fellow on this one. First known use of the word scallywag is in the 1840s. Scallywag. And with that, the Stamp Act was just one of several points of tension and contention between the British government and the American colonists. The American Revolutionary War began in April of 1775, with each colony relying on their local militia, which consisted of part-time citizen soldiers. The First Continental Congress had rejected the idea of forming a dedicated full-time army, but now the Second Continental Congress recognized that if the American colonists were going to fight the British and enjoy anything approaching success at it, they would need an army. And so a resolution was passed forming the Continental Army in June of 1775. This was done to coordinate military efforts of the colonists against the British, and General George Washington was appointed commander-in-chief of this Continental Army. Again, this was in 1775, and he served in that position throughout the war. And today's item is that the war over now, the American Continental Army was disbanded on November 3, 1783. William Howard Taft was elected 27th President of the United States on November 3, 1908. He served one term. Chevrolet officially entered the automobile market in competition with the Ford Model T on November 3, 1911. 32nd President Franklin D. Roosevelt was re-elected to his second of four terms as President of the United States on November 3, 1936. Residents of Washington, D.C. were finally able to cast votes in a presidential election for the first time in 1964, and along with the rest of the country voted about 61% in favor of Lyndon B. Johnson, who was elected to a full term as the 36th U.S. President on November 3, 1964. Today's song is one called Pop Music by a new wave synth pop project led by Robin Scott called M. The song is classified in the categories of New Wave, Art Pop, Synth Pop, and Disco. And now that I hear it, I can see that yes, I imagine it was quite popular on the disco scene. Written by Robin Scott, Pop Music was released in 1979 and reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on November 3, 1979. Pop Music by M. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That playlist lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that's called No Really. <laughs> You can also find me on Rumble, BitChute, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.